how to start a business from nothing in 2022. Starting it from zero scratch, having nothing on your brain and nothing, nothing informational on your brain. Where should you learn your skills and what tips and strategies? When I say tips and strategies, tips will always tips and tricks always will go after strategy. Strategy is a long-term plan. It doesn't. When I say long-term, whatever long-term means to you,、uh, but surely it's not going to be short-term as a year, six months. That's what is called a short term.、Um, starting your business from scratch. I started my business from scratch three years ago. It's going to be four years ago now.、Um, I started from just learning.、Um, my specific platform that I learned it from is going to be Udemy and YouTube. But let me tell you something: it's not going to be an easy one for you to start and. Making your business successful, as it takes years and years to learn. Except if you're not paying ads, okay. If you're paying ads, like look, sales can be right coming right now. If your product is like really good, and I know your product is really good, so those. If you are starting from, if you have money, if you have、um, money to spend on your business, and money that you will not be. Caring about, so if that money you lost is lost, but if you are going in the free way, you can use SEO. You can use many tools, and they'll take few years. It depends on your market to rank on YouTube search. You, sorry, not YouTube search, Google search. Yes, Google search. And when you rank on Google search, it depends on which keyword you use. And that will be in a whole different topic on SEO. But starting your business is learning a skill and building your business in public. Building your business in public, making the people excited for your product to launch. It is very important,、um, and bringing value in the first place, like. There will be no reason for you to open a business if it doesn't have value. It can be any type of business. It can be a YouTube. It can be a business selling product or service, or it can be affiliate, or it could be dropshipping. It is the same thing. You should be providing value. Providing value, you should be knowing your target. And what your target cares about. When your target is caring about this specific thing that people are selling, but but it's not a lot of people, and you can make a difference by offering your product. It will be、uh, a different. It doesn't have to be a big one, but it will be a different. And you doesn't you don't have to be unique. Okay, you can just join the market. Learn and find your target. What they care about. If your target doesn't care about, yeah, I don't know if yeah, you actually will actually like sell some things. But your target has to take like care about it for them to actually buy it. And that's number two. Number three is learn a skill that you can actually monetize it.、Um, when I say monetize it, is like. Let's say you learned editing, okay, and then you can go to a few small YouTubers and say, "I edited this video. It matches your style. Here, I can make more." Without actually saying, "Hey, can you pay me to do this?" Because you don't have any experience, and if you do, that's great. But for now, you don't have any experience, so you need to work. For other people, for free, to and then when you finish working that for free, you start monetizing your skill in editing. It can be in anything, and starting making money with that skill. Number two 
or step two is offer most likely offer your service for free as we talked about this and make um, a paid, paid um, offer when your clients learned that you have amazing skills it is your turn to make that money that skill makes you money and yeah number four is and then this is like the last step this is like the last step because it is time to hire people instead of you doing the work and that is the most stressful part and the hardest part and the most satisfying part why it is stressful first of all you need to make money for those people salaries and then why it is very nice I will say that you don't have to work in the same thing that you're working you can go in other skills uh, other things you can focus on other things um, for your people that are working for you can do those thank you for Jay's episode thank you for listening I am very thankful you're still here about the ramble going through the whole thing thank you for being here I'll see you next Friday with another episode